Hello everyone, I am Sakshi, back with a new video for my class 5 students of unit 2 Roman numerals. Students, earlier also I have told you about Roman numerals, but in this video we are going to have a brief view on Roman numerals. So, uh, Roman numerals are represented by 7 different letters that are I, V, X, L, C, D and N. Now you must be wondering that ki ma why Roman numerals were developed in ancient Romes? So the answer is Roman numerals were developed so that the Romans could easily price different goods and services. So that it is easier for them to communicate and have trade with other people. Just like we are having with our Hindu Arabic numerals. So Hindu Arabic numerals also I have told you what are they? They are the numbers. That are one digit number starting from 0, 1, 2, 3 and go on with infinite numbers, okay? Which we are using in order to have goods, purchase goods, easily communicate with others as we are having our mobile numbers in the form of numbers also. So, they are Hindu rapid numerals. Now, uh, what are normal Roman numerals and what are their values? So, I stands for 1, V indicates 5, X indicates 10, L indicates 50. C indicates 100, D indicates 500, M indicates 1000. Now there are some writing, uh, there are some methods with which we can write numbers using Roman numerals. So first point is the numerals I, X, C and M. That means I stands for 1, X 10, C 100 and M 1000. They are special because they can be placed together in a row. And only they can be subtracted. That means if you want to subtract anything, you just have to subtract I, X, C and M only. You cannot subtract to B or you cannot subtract L from any number. Okay. Now our second point is I, X, C and M can be repeated in a row. Yani only these numbers can be repeated and at least up to three times. You cannot repeat them for four times to form larger numbers. The values of the repeated numerals get added like I, I, I is 1. Another i is 1, so it's 2. 3 times i means 3 times we have to add 1, so that is 3. 2x, that is 10 plus 10, that is 20. 2c means c is 100, so 100 plus 100 is equals to 200. Next point, a smaller numeral gets added to the greater numeral on its left. That means if you are having a smaller numeral to the left of a greater number, you have to add them like vi. V is 5 and I is 1. So I is at the left of V. That means you have to add 1 with 5 and you will get 6. So in order to write 6, you have to write V I. Next is X I I. Okay. X is 10, I is 1 and another I is 1. So if we are adding them, we will get 12. L X. L is 50, X is 10. So I am adding them because X is to the left of the greater number L. So I will get 60 here. C, X, I. So C is 100, X is 10 and I is 1. So we will get 111 for it. Next point is a smaller numeral gets subtracted from the greater numeral on its right. You can subtract only once from a numeral. That means if a smaller number is written to the right of a greater numeral, you have to subtract them. That means I, V. So in I, V what we have to do is 5 minus I. I means 1. So 5 minus 1, 4. I x. X is our 10 and I is our 1. So we, I am subtracting 1 from 10. So I will get 9 here. X L. L is 50. 50 minus X. X yani 10. 50 minus 10 will be 40. X C. C is 100. X is 10. So 100 minus 10 that is 90. Now comes to our exercise 2a. Our first question is write using Hindu Arabic numerals. Students I have told you that these numbers 44, 9, 10, 9, 10, 90, they are Hindu Arabic numerals. So, x, x, x. So, 1 x is our 10. Another x is also 10. Another x is also 10. So, I am going to add them. Then I got the answer 30. Next question is L, x, b. So, L is 50. X is what? 10. And 5 is what? B is 5. So, it is 65. Okay. Now next is X C. So X C. What will be X C? That will be 100 minus 10. Why minus 10? Because C se pehle X hai na bacha. That's why we have to subtract them. And it's 90. So X C is our 90. So 90 
plus v is 5 and i is 1. So it is what? It is 96. Our next question is write using Roman numerals. Okay. To 46. First question is 46. To 46 is 40 plus 6. So what is 40? 40 should be 50 minus 10. So that is XL. And 6 is what? V I. So this is our 46. 60 is what? L X. Yani 50 plus 10. So that is LX. 60. 75 to 70 will be L is 50. 60. 70. 5, 75. 93 will be 90 plus 3. And you know that 90 is our uh, XC. So 90 will be XC. 3 is 1, 1, 1. Yani 3 I's we have to write. Next question. Compare or fill in greater than, less than or equals to. XL. You know XL is 40. And X, 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 triple X will be 30. So which will be greater? 40 will be greater. So I will mark a greater than sign here. Next is LX. LX means 50 mein we are adding 10. So that is 60. XL means in 50 we are subtracting 10. So that is 40. So which, which one is greater? 60 is good. XC is our 90. 50, 60, 70, 80. It is 80. So which is greater? 90 is greater. C and X C. C is our 100 and X E C is our 90. So which is greater? C is greater. Now in this case, 50, 60, 70, 75 and it is also 75. So I will mark equals to sign here. 7 nines are 63 and it is what? XL aapka hota hai 40 and it is 3 to 43. So what is greater? 63 is greater. Okay. Next question is writing in ascending order. So XCII is 92, LXXIX that is 50, 60, 70, 80 and IX is 9 to so 89. XC, we are subtracting X from C, so that is 90. XL is 40, IX is 9 to 49. L is 50, 60, 66, VII 7, so it is 67. Ascending means from smallest to greatest. The smallest number is 49, which is less than 67, which is less than 89, which is less than 90, which is less than 92. So what is 49? It is XLIX. Less than 67 is LXVII. And 89 will be LXXIX. Our 90 will be XC and 92 will be XCII. In this manner, you will be able to write the ascending order or in the same manner we'll write in descending order so what is descending order that is from greatest or largest to smallest xx is 20 l is 50 iv is 4 so it is 54 l 50 x 10 so 60 v5 or 1 6 so this is 66 l is 50 and ix is 9 so it is 59 xc is 90 and it is 5 6 7 90 7. So from descending order may we have to do from uh, largest to smallest. So largest will be what? 97 which is greater than which number? 66 which is greater than 59 greater than 54 greater than 54 ke baad we have 20. Okay. Now 97 is our XCVII which is greater than LXVI which is greater than LIX, which is greater than LIV, and that is greater than XX. So in this manner, we'll be able to write in descending order or in ascending order. So our next question is, write the answers in Roman numerals. That means first we have to solve the question and then we'll write in Roman numerals. So 5 multiplied by 8 is equals to 40. 40 will be written as XL. 70 plus 8 is 78. So how we can write 78? 70 is written as LXX and 8 is written as VIII. So 78 will be LXXVIII. Okay. LV is 55. XL is 40. V is 5. So this 45. 55 plus 45 will be 100. And 100 can be written as C. XLV is 45 divided by 3 times I we have. So that means it is 3. So we have to divide 45 with 3. So we will get 15. So 15 can be written as XV. Okay. Now XCII. So XC is 90 and II 2 times. So it is 92. 
माइनस थ्री तो नाइन्टी टू माइनस थ्री इज एटी नाइन एटी नाइन इज एटी प्लस नाइन एटी कैन बी रिटर्न एज एल एक्स 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 ओके फिफ्टी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी एटी प्लस नाइन इज आई एक्स तो इट इज एल एक्स 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 आई एक्स आई होप स्टूडेंट्स यू ऑल गॉट ऑल द क्वेश्चन वेरी क्लियरली आई हैव गिवन यू एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो यू हैव टू डू देम एंड प्रैक्टिस ऑल द क्वेश्चन स्टे सेफ स्टे होम एंड एंजॉय थैंक यू